Hey guys, Tang with Fox Airsoft here with George, also Hello. Fox Airsoft. Today we're going to talk about vests and plate carriers, but before we do that, we want to talk about the uh, gun giveaway contest, which is going to be for the Echo One ER25K. That is a DMR full metal type rifle that can build up to be a really good long distance shooting gun. And I personally like it because I ran it myself for years. Look in the description below for a link to that contest to sign up. All right guys, so we're gonna circle back a little bit and talk about a topic that often comes up in the store and that is plate carriers and chest rigs. What are they, what's the difference? So first of all, uh, a plate carrier, as the name implies, carries a plate. Has no relevance to airsoft whatsoever, but essentially um, the plate carrier has a pocket inside to carry an armored plate. Um, since we're playing airsoft, we like to emulate things we see in video games or you know, pictures, movies, police, whatever. So all our loadouts kind of emulate that by, um, you know, running the cool guy play carriers with armored plates and stuff like that. Now when you're playing, most people don't do that, but the pockets are there for mock plates or something similar to give you that uh, bulky look. Pros and cons to that. Pros are most of the time these are gonna be molly, which is modular. You can move pouches around adjust your loadout to the way you like. Another pro is um, they provide more coverage on your body so you know when you get shot it won't hurt as bad. You will still notice it, it just won't hurt you. Um, a con would be because they cover up so much your body they don't breathe too well so on a hot summer's day you'll probably feel it more. Now the opposite of that is the chest rig. So for chest rigs there's going to be a couple advantages and a couple disadvantages with those. Some of them are going to be set up where the pouches are fixed and you can't really move them around very much. And then there's also going to be some where they're set up with those molly loops. Those guys are going to be more modular and you can move the pouches around on those. Now one advantage that you're losing from the plate carrier is that you're not going to be able to carry one of those fake plates. So you're not going to be as protected from BB stuff like that when you're using a chest rig. But the upside to that is that it's going to be a lot more breathable and it's not going to be covering as much of your body so it's just going to be a lot lighter weight so if you're someone who likes to run around a lot or if you're a sniper maybe you're in like a reconnaissance sort of role then the chest rig is probably going to be the best option for you right on so uh myself and george were of different experience levels but we've been playing for quite a bit so first we get george suited up in his normal gear talk about what he likes to run. So I've been playing airsoft for about six or seven years now and uh, over that time I've been building and adapting my kit and learning and uh, Fox Airsoft has helped outfit me over a lot of those years so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the different gear I've tried out and what's worked for me and what hasn't. So I first started out using a vest it was the kind where you can't really change stuff around, but it worked for me. I could hold a couple magazine pouches and my cross draw pistol holster, and it worked for a couple years. But over time, as I started to play different types of games and started to go to events and stuff like that, I realized I needed something that was a little bit more adaptable, where I could move around my pouches and stuff like that. So eventually I switched to this plate carrier. And what I like about this plate carrier is it has my integrated mag pouches on the front. I primarily run M4, so it's set up to hold those M4 mags, everything like that. And then depending on the event that I go to, I can set up the front here with like my grenade clip and my pistol pouches and everything else like that. On the sides, I have my admin pouch and my map pouch, and those will uh, hold any additional gear that I might need to carry out on the field or tools or anything like that. And I do have a couple cool patches on the front of here. I like to be able to put on my team patch and my fox patches. And then on the back of this guy, I have my hydration carrier. So that way I can have plenty of water on me without having to worry about running multiple canteens around or something like that. And then I can also just store whatever other kinds of gear I need to in the back of this play carrier. So if I'm at a longer event, this, this kind of setup will usually be able to carry just about everything I need without weighing me down with too much unnecessary clutter. I like to run either a plate carrier as well or a chest rig because I play different roles. I have a lot of different airsoft guns, so depending on the mood, that's what I'll gear up for. Uh, you've probably seen my plate carrier before. Nothing new to explain here that George hasn't covered on his. I'm primarily set up for an M4, so my pouches will be in the front with some extra goodies in the back, such as a hydration pack, uh, 
Medic blowout pouch or some kind of pouch to keep my wallet, keys, or whatnot. Now for my lightweight setup, I have a chest rig that is molly. That means I can move the pouches around, take them off. The nice thing was once I got this set up um, and I got it the way I liked, I ended up not liking it and changing it again. So I didn't have to uh, you know, reinvest in the base setup. I can just buy the pouch and change it out. So that's the advantage of molly there. Um, for this last game I played, I had um, three covered mag pouches, one HSGI double taco. So these are my faster reloads. A couple pistol pouches here where I keep a pistol mag as well as a speed loader. Got a dump pouch. This one's stowed away when I'm not using it, but this is where I put my empty magazines. All in all, lightweight setup. I like it a lot. This is my um, no thinking, no fuss necessary. Keep it simple, stupid setup. All right, guys, so that's our setups in a nutshell. Just remember, Airsoft's about having fun, so don't take your gear too, too serious. Just run what works for you and what fits your budget. Don't feel pressured to buy something overly expensive just because it's cool, although it is. Um, yeah, if you have any comments or suggestions of your own about gear, be sure to put that below in the comments section. I'm Tank from Fox Airsoft. And I'm George. And we'll see you guys later.